So today's vlog starts with an absolute failure. You see, one of the reasons that I came out to Shikoku for this trip was to work on a massive video project for a company down here, but it didn't pan out because the weather is just so shady and we really needed good weather today. <laughs> and, and the worst part about it is that the weather keeps changing. Like this morning it was super sunny, then it was pouring rain, now it's cloudy. But yesterday and tomorrow are both perfect sunny days that we could have used to do this project. It would be pretty easy to say that this is a wasted trip, but at least I get to make this video for you guys, so yay! Woohoo! But you know, every single time that I come out here to Shikoku, it's a little bit different. Different goals and different purposes every single time. Alright, are you ready to get going? Yay! Oh my god. So we're off to a meeting now, Yay. and we're late. A little bit. It's a little bit. And I just realized I don't really talk about why I come out to Shikoku this often, so this might be a pretty good opportunity to do that. So Sherry and I right now are working on starting something called an NPO, a non-profit organization. Yes. The MPO is going to be focused mostly on communications and media, but we don't have all the details laid out yet, so I don't want to just totally give away the farm, but when I do have an update, I will share it with you. You know what I always forget about? What? That there's a castle up there. Oh, you can see. I can't see. Oh, you're too short? <laughs> too short. I was like, castle? Where? I don't see anything. Every single time that I come out to Matsuyama, there's one place that we always stop. Yes. It's not even that I need to buy anything. I just love browsing. Do you want a $50 violin? How about a cheap bongo drum? Any cable you could... A limited edition Pikachu N64. So tempting. Or an original in-box Nintendo. Like 20 bucks. Sherry's saying that she's never seen the original Nintendo. No. But I think I have a new vlogging camera. That was wrong. Now I found my new vlogging camera. This is so heavy. I don't think I... The Nintendo Super Scope. I haven't seen this since I was like... It's really a lot more fun for me than it is for her, so... But you know what? Our project being cancelled for today actually gives me a chance to talk to you guys about something I've wanted to talk about for a little while. It's the idea of the hard work, the inspiration, the motivation, everything that goes into creating something, whether it be something like a vlog or a business or whatever it is. Let's start with Sherry. You see, Sherry is by far one of the hardest working people I have ever met. The girl doesn't stop. In fact, it took me almost a year to convince her to even start taking breaks, and she didn't even watch Netflix until like eight months ago. And I want to start by asking Sherry a question that I already know the answer to, but it's kind of set up for something I want to talk to you guys about. Do you always have like the energy and motivation to, to get up and do all that work every day? Um, honestly, no. Like, I'm a normal person, you know? So like, sometimes like, oh, I just want to sleep the entire day or something like that. But life keeps moving, so I kind of have to keep moving too. Thank you. And that slightly touches on the point that I want to make, but I'm starting to get hungry. Me too. Let's uh, let's grab some food. Yeah. And the weather has taken a turn for the worse again. The restaurant we're going to is just down the road, but we don't have an umbrella, so we're gonna drive. Coco's. Sherry laughs at me for how much I love this restaurant. <laughs> So I've got this friend named Frankie. She's an artist and she turned me on to a quote by another artist. An artist named Chuck Close. And the quote goes as such. Inspiration is for amateurs. The rest of us just show up and get to work. Chuck Close is a painter and a photographer and what makes him amazing is the fact that not only is he a successful artist, but he does so while paralyzed due to a spinal collapse that he suffered back in the 80s. <laughs> so Sherry, what do you think? Is that an accurate quote? Definitely. Food? Food. Food. This place is all about the insane drink bar. Oh, 
good food. And so sleepy now. Me too. Oh, let's get out of here. I personally rarely find inspiration. In fact, I make a point of trying not to. I find that sometimes it can taint the flavor of my work and take away from my originality. Much like Sherry, I just try to keep moving. It's not that I'm always motivated or always have energy. I will admit that it is much easier when you're doing something that you love. But even then, there are gonna be days that you need to push yourself. More often than not, just getting started is the hardest part. Like I know this especially with my exercise, which is one of the reasons that I set a schedule, like 30 minutes of exercise every morning and every night, no matter what. I'd probably be pretty fat without that schedule. Super quick break to say bye to Sherry. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. My pleasure. Sorry our project didn't work out. It's okay. Next it's time. my fault. It's the rain. I always <laughs> bring the rain. So. Yeah, kind of true. <laughs> next time, <laughs> next time. We'll see you soon, right? Yay. All right, cheers. Bye. 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 Tomorrow. It definitely takes conscious effort to overcome low motivational walls. So don't feel bad if you're not always motivated or inspired to do something. Don't feel bad if you're having a low energy day. It's not just you and it doesn't mean that you're a failure. It means that you're a totally normal person who has to push forward like everybody else. Just the way I like it, last on the plane, first off. But getting back into all of this for a second, there is one thing that I want to say and that's all of this is just my thoughts. I don't know, maybe you're exactly the same or maybe you have a completely different view. Perhaps let me know down below. I'd like to know. Either way, I really enjoyed spending the day with you guys. Thanks so much for joining. On that note, don't forget to give that like button some love. You guys know I want to hang out with you in the comments today, so I will see you down there. And we'll see you guys again real soon.